Hey guys, what's up? It's Unicorn here. It's a little bit late, but as promised, I'd show you how to download the Superheroes Unlimited mod. Okay, but before we get started, I just want to say I'm a little bit late because I've been a lot, I've been really busy lately. I was gonna do it the other day, but my throat's been kind of sore. If I accidentally mess up on something, it's because my throat's just been killing me lately. And um, I'm out of school now, so I'll probably be able to get you a lot more vid. Uh, sorry, I said vids. Videos out a lot later. So let's get started. And I'll probably be able to finish that adventure map series thing I'm doing. It's not very big, but still, I might finish it because I need something to post. Okay, so first you're going to want to download the Superheroes Unlimited mod, of course. So we're going to go get that. And I'm going to use a YouTube channel's reference to get the link because I forgot to get it down on my copy and paste. So just going to head to youtube.com slash adventures. They're a pretty cool channel. That's where I figured out how to install it. And search the channel Super Heroes. And should be the first one. Then just go down. You don't have to watch the video or nothing. I got that covered. We just need to wait for it to load. So I can actually scroll. And I'm gonna go down. Bad. Oh crap. Now open up the description, and then it's right here. So I'll have this link in the description if you don't feel like going to their YouTube channel. And just wait on that to finish. Go down all the way down this is recent they just added in the Iron Man update so I had to delete all my stuff so I could redo the Iron Man update I get then I figured it's perfect time to show you all the video now that I have everything down so I can show you step by step so we're gonna click this link right here of course it'll be in the description go ahead and put that on copy for now now you gotta wait right here don't click any of this that's just to get you some kind of virus probably because last time I downloaded one of those my computer crashed and I got a virus so don't want to worry about that just download this then you're going to want to save it and yours might take longer than mine or less than mine I have no idea all depends on what kind of computer and internet you got and then just exit all this because we don't need it anymore but don't exit the YouTube video if you're not sure how to do this yet because you're gonna need that okay so then you're gonna take it out of your downloads I mean you don't have to do this but I'm going to because I want to move it to my desktop because I keep all my mods and stuff in there and you're gonna want to download the Minecraft Forge now let's go to www.minecraftforge.net and this is where it kind of stumped me a little bit because in the video from Adventure Pros they didn't show me how to get this but we figured it out me and my friend I'll get I'll probably have his channel link in the description and then you'll see you're gonna wanna go for the latest version which is 1.5.2 obviously gonna wanna click that you're not going to have to do all this though, I'll have it in the description because I'm so awesome. I'm kidding. Okay. Then you're going to want the universal, and I'm just going to do a direct download. And save that. And write the X. And you won't need this anymore. And open up your Minecraft. And log in, and I think I might be doing this wrong, but we'll see. Come on, load right. Nope, I didn't do it right. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, 
Don't do that part. Okay, we gotta hit the X. So hit the hit the freaking X. Okay, there we go. Now you're gonna want to go in here and go to your my, dot Minecraft. However you get to it, I have mine in my recent places thing. So yeah, I have mine right there. And then open up your bin folder. And we'll just put this over here while we get the Minecraft Forge open. There's the Minecraft Forge. Downloads Minecraft Forge Universal. Then open with Renrar. You can do this without Renrar, I just like mine that way. Okay. Okay. Then you're gonna wanna keep this meta imp right here don't delete it and go to your minecraft.jar it might be .jar it might just be normal minecraft but you're gonna wanna go in there crap okay. I have to open mine with winrar archiver archiver sorry I always wanna say archiver and then I'll put that over there delete the meta imp if it's already not deleted so delete that And if any of you guys have Instagram, then, well, I'll put that in the description of my Instagram username. If any, got, if any of you guys want to follow me there. And so, select all of these files. Then just drag them into your Minecraft.jar. Then click OK. Now, then you see all that stuff in there. Now, if we've done everything correctly, which I'm pretty sure we did, you're going to need to open up your Minecraft. And there's an easy sign at the beginning to tell you did it right. Not right here, just when you log in. And it'll have to do this, at, yeah, this right here, it'll, oh, fudge. Okay. What did I do? Oh, crap. Oh, there we go. There we go. Heck, I mean it froze. Open. Is that something? Oh crap. Ah. Crud. Crud. Okay, I actually jacked that up. Okay. I have to redo that because I actually messed it up. I was trying to highlight that just to show you exactly what I was looking at but that accidentally made it mess up so don't do that you gotta wait for this thing to finish it's really fast but it'll have to do this every time you log in no matter if you're planning to use the mod or not and it's good for running multi mods like you could run the superheroes unlimited and optifine you don't have to do a lot of installing and crap it's super easy to use if I have extra time left in the video I'll show you how to download optifine with other mods running using the minecraft forge now this will load and I'm probably going to be a noob to the iron man because I don't even have it yet I've never used it before I've just used all the previous ones and still I can't figure out some of them so excuse me if I mess up and that's the adventure map I'm thinking about sharing and go down here to my superheroes unlimited mod. You might you have to make a new map though to get in it to get the mod to work, I think. So I already have this pretty much set up with all the chests out except for the Iron Man one because I just now figured out the Iron Man was there. So yeah about that. I don't wanna wait for it to open. See this is what you'll get with the Minecraft Forge for to show you that. Like fudge lag. Okay, let me get the. Okay, let me switch to my creative mode. If I can even type. Okay, game mode updated. And you see in here. What was the Iron Man update? Huh. Let me search Iron Man. Iron. What the heck? 
black iron block. Black iron ore. Well, I guess it's just, I guess it's not there. Oh well. I can see, as you can tell, I have it all working. And you can check them all out in my other video. The showcase part of this. One second, I'm going to check how much time I have left on the video. Alright, I checked. And I have enough time to show you how to use Octopine with Minecraft Forge. And it's super easy. It's only going to take like two minutes. So let's save and click the title. And it also says shutting down internal server whenever you leave something. And then exit here. And you'll have to download Optifine, and of course, I'll have it in the description, don't worry. And so, you're going to want to open up your WinRAR, or whatever you use. You can use 7-Zip, or I don't know what else you can use. I've only used WinRAR before. So, you're going to want to get into your .minecraft, go to your bin, and then your minecraft.jar. Meta Imp is still there. Delete. Wait, no, that's the one for the Minecraft board. Don't delete that. Then you got your Optifine. Just click one, select all, and drag them into this. Nothing complicated. Then just do that. And it should be in there. Yeah, see? It's good. It's in there now. Now you got this. Open up your Minecraft. Then log in. And like I said, I just now got out of school as well. I haven't been posting and because I told you my throat's been killing me and I can just barely talk. Right? I could talk, but I, you couldn't understand a word I said. And so this summer, which is pretty much tomorrow actually, my summer starts. And I'll be out for three months and I will be able to post a lot more than I have been lately so if you're a subscriber thanks for sticking around with all my lack of posting and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more because I'll actually have more this time and hopefully this Optifine thing works because this is exactly how I do it on everything else so it better work or I'm just gonna be really mad I'm gonna be like pause the video and rage my pants off okay for my yeah, my Optifine is loaded, and I'll show you what Optifine's like, because I'm pretty sure I have extra time. I don't want to open that up. Wait a second, I'm going to check how much time I have. Okay, we got two minutes, so I can quickly show you what Optifine does. Oh, crap. Help. Lag. Lag. Help. Help. Okay. See, you can edit your FPS. You can change it to max FPS, which is the best. And a lot of things, like details and animation, the... If it's fast or off, the if it's like one of those things where it's fast or fancy or default, fast is the fastest, of course. And whenever there's stuff like this, turn them off. Except for the animations. If you turn them off, I think they're like mess up things. But some things like rain splash, that lags me really bad. So you can change all that off that you're comfortable changing. And the dripping water and lava, that's lag too for me. And now I'll show you the other things about it. You can zoom in by clicking the control key, the CTRL at the very bottom left corner. It might be different for you, but that's where mine is. And you just click that and it'll zoom in. And takes away your hand view, so this is good for screenshots. If you just get the bottom bar eliminated, you can get screenshots with just this little thing in them. So it's cool. And I think I have time to show you this. Another way to use it is you can get Thor's hammer. And if you can't exactly hit the block exactly right from a distance, zoom in with your Optifine and boom. So that's it guys. This is Unicorn signing out. Rate, comment, subscribe.